What's going on? This is John Starks here at the John Starks Foundation Bowling Event. I want to thank Class Act Sport for coming out and being a part of this year's event, as they are with all my events. They are a class act. Victor Green alongside John Starks, Jared Ginsburg. We had another one of your function, man. Another giving back, giving away scholarships, man. Talk a little bit about that. Well, obviously we put on uh, events uh, every year. We put on about three uh, main events. We do the bowling uh, event that we uh, that we here at right now, as well as we do the uh, casino cigar night that we do. I think around about May and June. Then we do our big finale, uh, the golf Vicar golf event in September. Uh, you know, it's, it's just something that's, uh, that's kind of close to my heart um, from the standpoint is that I was once a student out there looking for a scholarship money, didn't know where to look, didn't know who to talk to or what have you. And uh, so when I was very fortunate and been blessed to put in a position where I've been able to uh, start a foundation, to be able to raise money and give scholarships back to student, needy students that are in need of uh, going on and furthering their education. Well, talk a little bit about that, man, because, you know, you've gave so much, man. Do you feel it's a need for you to do that and come in the community and give back to that, man? What does it mean for you to really, you know, give back the way you do, though? Well, I, I think, to be honest with you, it's an obligation uh, more so than anything, and it's had to be inside of you knowing that, you know, other people out there that are less fortunate than you, you've been there and you understand what's it about. I've been in those, walked in those shoes seeing the things that these kids are seeing and, and understand how important it is for them to reach their goals. And so the John Starks Foundation is a vehicle to help them move on and, and, and do something in life that otherwise that they might not get a chance to do. So uh, me just being a, bit, uh, a little part of that means so much. Now, John Starks, legendary New York Nick, man. Talk about uh, what's going on with the Knickerbockers these days. You know, they're, they're on the rise, it seems like, and, and what you feel Lynn and, and some of the other guys are bringing to the table. Well, obviously, uh, the Lynn sanity <laughs> has arrived here in New York. Uh, but this was a team, obviously, that, that was going the other way before uh, he got put into the starting lineup into a system that works very well for him, that Dan Tony needed uh, a point guard that knows how to distribute, know how to run a team. And a credit to him coming out of nowhere, so to speak, and, and stepping into uh, the shoes here in New York City is big. And to be able to do that on the stage night in and night out says a lot about what type of player uh, Jeremy Lin is. And as well as the rest of the team, you're talking about uh, Landry Field, who's really stepped up his play. And uh, bringing J.R. Smith in is a big key acquisition. So. Um, Having Carmelo and, and uh, Mari back, I know it's just a couple of games that everybody's getting a chance to play together. But practice time, which they have a lot of in this next uh, week or so, is going to really help this team. So I'm excited about the possibility of this team really doing some damage. Absolutely. Let's get back to John Starks a bit, man. You're doing a really great job in the community. You have a bowling tournament, you have a golf outing, and all the other things you're doing for the community. When people hear John Starks, what do you want them to think of as, as an athlete on and off the field? Well, I think the most important thing is that this is a guy who understands how important it is to give back and, and a, a man that uh, truly uh, believes in what he's doing. And because you got some guys who, who understand stands it and you got some guys that don't, don't feel like, hey, you know, I shouldn't have to do that. Yeah, you are. You know, you're in position to be able to, you know, help others. And so you should do that uh, because it comes back 10 times fold. So uh, I just want to just be respected. The most important thing, uh, people say you're very humble because you don't look for attention, which I don't. Uh, you know, I think I, I just do it because it's in my heart to do it. I just got one more question about the Knicks, man. You played point guard, you know, guard for a long time. My first question, we actually have two part. Do you think Lynn has what it takes to really take this team to the next level? Also, do the Knicks have the pieces in place, not only to make the playoff, but make a run in it? Well, definitely, I think Lynn, along with a healthy Baron Davis, do have a, a, a opportunity to take this uh, team to the next level. Uh, obviously, he's going to get some different looks at now uh, because his name is out there. 
and uh, teams are going to come at them. That was obvious by how Miami played them this uh, past Thursday. So uh, he's going to have to be able to adjust to the type of pressure that, that's going to come. I know I was the same in the same boat. And uh, certain things I used to get when I first came out of nowhere, teams took it away from me. And Coach Riley sat me down and said, listen here, you showed that you can play. Now you get ready to you know, get treated like a star in this league. Now you have to be able to adjust. And I think he's in that same boat. He's going to have to be able to adjust and be able to figure out certain things he can do and certain things he can't do. But do I think this team has all the pieces? Yes, I do. I think they, they got enough talent to really make some headways and, and possibly win an uh, NBA championship. I think they got that much talent. I think they can go play any style of brand of basketball you want to play. They can play up-tempo or they can slow it down. And I think that's the diversity that you have to have in this league because, as you know, when you get to the playoffs, everything comes to half court. So you got to have guys who can score in the half court. And we got, I think we got two of the best in there, and, and Carmelo as well as um, uh, Amari. So we should be fine. Well, Class Act Sports, Victor and myself, we'd just like to thank you again for having us out to your next event, this bowling tournament. The golf outing went great, man. You really are a true Class Act, and we firmly believe that, and so does everyone else believe that when we say that we're covering your event. Oh, John, great guy, Class Act, this, that, and the other. So you are the epitome of what we are about, and we appreciate the opportunity to cover your event. So thank you very much from Class Act Sports. Well, thank you. well I want to thank Class Act Sports. For hosting this event, we're coming out and, and being a part of this event. Uh, it means so much when you have a vehicle, because not too many, you know, people such as you, Victor, in, in your position, who, who understands from the athlete uh, perspective, to be able to start uh, uh, an incredible pro uh, program and to be able to let the athlete speak and be seen, and, and that means so much. So I want to congratulate both of you guys for being a part of this year's event. Appreciate it, man. We just want to be a platform for you and all the other celebrities that don't get the recognition you guys uh, deserve, man. You got the, all the ESPN, all the, the networks out there, man, but they don't cover things like this. And this is why Class Act Sports go beyond the game, behind the scenes at John Stark's Celebrity Bowling Event here in New York City.